Hello everyone, my name is Asa Sands, and welcome to another Statistical Anomaly video. This is part three of how to make a modern themed dashboard in Tableau Desktop. Let's get started. So, from the previous video, you can see that I've taken the liberty of changing the theme here a little bit. I decided to go with a dark gray and a dark blue uh, kind of theme. And then I also switched the text to white from its black uh, default. So if we go to the genre labels and we click on labels here, and then we click on these three dots, you'll see that you can just highlight it and then change the font to white right up there in the corner. So that's pretty much what I did. Um, so I also want to cover a small error that we have here. This all pill and the all category both use this all dimension. So this um, all equals all, however, needs to be changed. This says that it's genre equals all. This needs to be genre parameter equals all. We click OK, and that will kind of fix that really small error. Uh, mostly just affects this um, all pill. So uh, let's keep on going now. So what we're going to be doing in this part is we're going to be covering how to do all of the dashboard actions that will make everything run on this dashboard. Uh, you'll see here that we have um, adventure and fighting. And when we select on these, nothing happens. There's no filters going on. Then the numbers are just really static. So we're going to start adding actions. So when we go up here to this upper left-hand corner, we click on dashboard. And then down here, you'll see we have actions. And the hotkey for this is Control Shift D. Uh, it'll bring up a menu that looks like this. Um, I use that hockey a lot, so if you see this menu kind of appear out of nowhere, kind of like that, um, you'll know that I'm using the hockey. Control Shift D is what I do for that on Windows. Um, so, dashboards are essentially automated functions that you can throw into your dashboard. If we add a filter icon or a filter, essentially, it will. If we click on action, it'll say start a filter that will filter everything by action. So only action games will appear in your graphs. And that's what we're looking for. Um, and that's what we're going to be adding. So let's start adding those. So the first one we're going to be doing is called the all action. So we're going to make it a filter uh, real fast. I'll show you this. Here's filters. We're going to be adding five actions. We're going to add two filters and three change parameters. So let's start with the filters. Source sheets are essentially the uh, input, and the target sheets are the output. You can think of them that way. A source sheet is when I interact with this sheet, I want it to change the target sheets. So um, in this one, the first one that we're doing isn't a really great example of this. Um, this one, we're simply just going to unselect these. You can click on the on the thing here uh, on the name. You don't click the check. Uh, what you do is you click the actual bar here, and then you can hold down shift and then select the rest of them. And then you can click and un or select and unselect all of these together. It saves you a ton of time. And then the target sheet, we're going to change the dashboard to this sheet all. So it's only going to affect all. We're going to have this run on select, which will automatically change it to show all values. And then we're going to change this over to select fields. And then add filter. We're going to change this field to 0. And we're going to change this field to 1 right there. Those are the fields that we manually made in the previous part. And we're going to click OK. You'll see this right down here. We only have one data source, so it's always going to be VG sales. And then we are going to click OK. So that is the first filter. Oh, we didn't name this all. There we go. Now that's the all filter. Now we're going to add another action. And this is the action that actually will really filter everything. So this is the source. We want everything that we click on to be the source. So we want it to be that when we click on the all sheet, which is the genre right here, and when we click on the genre labels, it will change the data that is being displayed on all of the sales sheets. So that means all of these sheets that are checked, these sales sheets, are going to be the ones that are actually going to change because of the filter that we're throwing on that is being activated by these source sheets. So when we click on, we, we don't want to be able to click on the, the EU total sales and have it change other sheets. That We don't want that. We want it to be we click on action, and then it shows only the action games in these graphs and not on the action games in the genres. Otherwise, it'll only show action. These will disappear, and then it kind of breaks your system. So we want it to only show the sales sheets. And then we're going to have it run on select, and that automatically changes it to show all values. And then we're just going to click on 
oh, we're going to change the name to filter and OK. Boom, there's our filter. Now the rest of them are going to be change parameter actions. So the first change parameter action is going to be our all parameter action. So we're just going to highlight all of these. We're going to uncheck them. We're going to change the name to all. We're going to have it run on select. Genre parameter is the target parameter. And then the field is going to be all. The genre, if you remember, is just the string. It's literally just the name. It's literally those five letters. So having that as the field would kind of be pointless. So we're going to click OK, and that's it. Um, I should probably explain this filter. What this filter is doing is, um, if I remember correctly earlier, I explained that most people using this system will assume that when I click on this, it is adding an adventure filter, which they're absolutely right. I click on adventure and it adds an adventure filter where it only shows me the adventure data. But most would think that when I click on genre, it's deleting that filter, which it is not deleting the filter. What it is doing it is add, it is replacing that other filter with a new filter that says, don't filter by anything, let everything through. That's essentially what it's saying. Um, most people think clicking on that, it's like, oh, everything's showing up now. It must have deleted the filter. No, actually, this is adding a new filter that will say, don't filter by anything, or filter by nothing is essentially what it's saying. Um, so it will show all the data. That's a very, um, from the end user's perspective, it does not matter. But from the way that we're building these actions, that is a huge distinction. So um, all here, let's add the next change parameter. <clears throat> this parameter is going to be the genre labels parameter. So when we click on genre labels, it will target the genre parameter. And genre is the only option we have here. Make sure it's run on select and click OK. Um, oh, we didn't name this again. Oh my goodness, I'm doing so bad at naming my stuff. Um, and then add action to change parameter. And then this one is going to be the pills hide. This is just to make sure that the pills hide are also on the same on the same level. And then we'll select all of these and boom, pills hide, genre parameter. <clears throat> and this will be genre. Cool. Oh my goodness. Pills hide. Okay, there we go. Now we click OK. And let's see if this works. We click on adventure. And boom, as you can see, the blue changes over and everything filters by the adventure. Let's do fighting. Everything changes. Blue is fighting now. Let's see if the genre works. Oh, it didn't filter. What's going on here? Let's go to the all there. Genre. Oh, this is probably it. See, genre labels here is missing something very important. It is missing a zero. If we go to details here and let's see if that fixes it. So we go to action here and then we click on genre. And there we go. It works. Um, honestly, if I were to tell you why that is the case, um, I have no idea why zero is so important. But it won't work unless zero is in the details of the genre labels. So um, now it works. There you go. Action and then genre. Boom. Actually, genre, the all category, is actually not the correct color. Um, oh, that's why all equals all isn't even in oh wait oops that's that's because it's in the all pill uh, if we go to the edit colors the true i changed this true to be the deepest blue here there we go now it matches the other colors yeah that real deep blue i really like that deep blue so there we go now it's all working so that's how you do all of the dashboard actions in this modern theme dashboard to get these buttons working and to get the filter properly running in these graphs. In the next part, we're going to be covering how to do the graphics behind it to make it look really pretty and everything's lined up and everything's perfectly square with each other. So then it looks really professional and really clean and really crisp. And by the end of that fourth part, it will be ready to turn into whatever bosses you report to or whatever friends you like sharing your uh, graphs with. <laughs> Until then, I'll catch you in the next one.